Hey, what's going on everyone? Mike here in the BFH garage. Talking about clamshell bearing pullers today. Uh, you know I do enough gears in here, I decided to go ahead and invest in this uh, specialized tool. If you decide to invest in it, they are not cheap, so just be forewarned with that. But the nice thing about a clamshell bearing puller is A, it is very quick to remove bearings. So instead of taking the Dremel tool and cutting the uh, bearings off like I used to do, this takes them off in short order. And the other nice thing about this is, is that they take them off without damaging them. So if you find that you need to remove a bearing, for example, underneath a pinion head because you want to add a shim stack, then you could remove the bearing without damaging it. Add your shims in there, press the bearing back on, and everything should be fine. So great tool to have. Let me show you how to use this thing. So the kit I bought comes with multiple clams. Um, in fact, I have larger one if I want to do one ton axles and things like that. So starting off first, you have your actual clams here. So these split in half, they go around the bearing, and then once they're around the bearing, this securing collar goes around the outside. And you want to secure that there, and that is what is going to keep the clam around the bearing. Now you have your actual removal tool here. This also goes inside the clam, like so and then the bearings just below it to get everything adjusted and that is what uh, sets up the entire tool in order to pull your, your uh, bearing off. Here, this is a carrier, um, I'm not even sure what the tool part is called, but basically what it is, it's a um, kind of like a, st a stem I guess, I don't know what else to call it, but depending on which carrier you're using, it goes inside where the axle shaft would go through and then this would go over the top, slide down, you put your collar around, and that's what's going to pull that off. So they have different size journals for different size um, carriers, so I can get a lot of work done with this. So enough of that, let's actually remove some bearings so you can see how this thing is used. One thing I want you to note right off the bat is you're going to see how this hole is smaller than the opposite side. You see how those don't line up? So that gives you lots of options as far as what size bearings you can pull. Now on the black clamshell here, they're different sizes. They allow you to get around slightly different uh, size bearings. So keep that in mind when you're trying to fit these around a bearing. You may need to turn it over so you're aware of how that goes. I'm going to get you up close here and we're going to start with the pinion bearing and then we'll come over to the carrier bearing. Okay, so starting with the pinion bearing, first thing I need to do is figure out which clamshell I'm going to need. So I have the yellow one here, it's got two different size holes. So if I start with the larger one, it fits around, and as I pull up, you can see it doesn't even take the race. So I know that that's the wrong side. I'm gonna come back and try the smaller side. Put that together, and yes, that fits good. That means that that will grab that bearing. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and lay it on its side so you can see a little bit better. So you have to have the race on in order to pull your bearing without, without it getting damaged. So this part here, the actual removal tool, slides right over the top just like this. Now if you look closely, you're going to see that there's a gap between the race and this adjusting collar here. So I'm going to adjust this collar down to where it just starts to touch the race. And I'm going to set everything right inside here, inside this clamshell side. Now this one here may or may not need to be adjusted depending on which one you use last, but that's fine. Let's just throw it out of whack a little bit. So if I push everything into the clam there, you're gonna see that I have some adjustment over on this side. So I'm gonna lift it up just a little bit and make sure that everything is snug. Just a little bit more, there we go. And now you can see how the clam is behind the bearing. The ray still has some adjustment to go down, so now that's snug. Everything's nice and snug now. One thing I want you to note is the bevel on this adjusting collar. You see how it lines up with the bevel on the clamshell, so you don't want to use the flat end going that way. You want to use the bevel end to the bevel end. Here, to be honest with you, it doesn't matter which side you use because uh, it's going to be just securing the race in place, but I do like to use the flatter side to make sure I'm getting the most surface area. So now I'm going to take the other half of the clamshell, I'm going to set it right on top, 
And if you can see here, there's no gap between there, so everything fits as it should. We're gonna take the adjusting collar. I'm sorry, not the adjusting collar, but the retaining collar. We're gonna set it on top. And there's a, a bolt on the side that allows you to tighten that up so that way this doesn't separate and cause damage to the bearing. You'll see people that'll want to tighten that up with a wrench. Thumb tight is plenty for that. Now to get this thing off, all we have to do is find the right size socket for the uh, uh, stem here. And then we're just going to start cinching it down. So you could either use an air impact or in my case I have the, the Milwaukee um, cordless. And then you start impacting it until the bearing starts releasing. So I'm going to do it this way so you can see this thing work. So as you can see right there, the pinion comes out. The bearing's still inside there, so I need to release the adjusting or the securing collar. We're going to release the clam, and then your bearing comes out completely undamaged, working as if you needed it again. So great, great tool, make short work of it. I can tell you that if you do not put the race on there and tighten this collar down to it, your bearing will get damaged. So make sure you use these things the way you're supposed to. Let's get that out of the way now. Here's the shim real quick too, so that way if you need to put a new shim on, you can press that one back on and voila, you're done. So let's get the carrier over here now. So I want to take off the actual carrier bearing now. And so again, I have to find the right clam. So the one that worked last time in this case, not going to work this time. If I turn it around this way, it still comes out over the top of that. So I know that this one is not the correct clam for what I need. So I'm going to get the other clam that I have, put it around. That comes around it, so I'm going to turn it over. That secures, that is what I'm looking for. So I know I'm where I need to be. So I'm going to take my um, uh, stem piece, uh, spacer, put that into the journal so that way it has the resistance to come up. I'm going to slide the removal tool over. Now you see how it gets up next to the stem here, so I need to make sure I release some of this. There we go. So I want to make sure that I adjust this collar down to the race. That's really important to make sure that you sandwich that and it's in there. So I'm going to take one half of the collar, I'm going to put it underneath the bearing, and now I see that I need to adjust this out. Now you can feel it start to get snug. You're going to take the other half of the clamshell, you're going to put that on there. Take your retaining collar, put that right there. Thumb tight the retaining collar. Now we are ready to remove. So this time I'm going to do it straight up and down so I don't lose anything. And just like that, the bearings off. Now you remember the other method I show you where you cut it off using a Dremel. You can see how much faster this is and how much time it saves and that equals dollars if you're working in a big shop but it also equals frustration if you're working in your own garage. But again these tools are not cheap so take that into consideration. So I have that off of there so I'm going to take and move the carrier out of the way. We're going to remove the um, securing collar from around the clam. Set it sideways. I'm going to remove this half of the clam. You can see you got the bearing right there. Once I pull this out, this bearing comes right off. And I could reuse this if I wanted to. The bearing's in perfect shape. Well, that's all there is to using a clamshell bearing puller. I hope you enjoyed the video and good luck in your gear setups.